In complex analysis, Liouville's theorem, named after Joseph Liouville, states that every bounded entire function must be constant. That is, every holomorphic function f for which there exists a positive number m such that f z m display style f z l e q m for all z display style z in c display style math bound c is constant. Equivalently, non-constant holomorphic functions on c display style math bound c have unbounded images the theorem is considerably improved by picard's little theorem which says that every entire function whose image emits two or more complex numbers must be constant topic <laughs> proof the theorem follows from the fact that holomorphic functions are analytic if f is an entire function, it can be represented by its Taylor series about zero. f z equals k equals zero infinity a k z k display style f z equals sum underscore k equals zero caret inf t or underscore k z caret k, where by Cauchy's integral formula. A K equals F K zero K equals one two Pi I C R F Zeta Zeta K plus one D Zeta Display style or underscore k equals frac f caret k zero k equals one over two pi i point underscore c underscore r frac f zeta zeta caret k plus one d zeta, and cr is the circle about zero of radius r greater than zero. Suppose f is bounded, i.e. there exists a constant m such that f z m for all z. We can estimate directly a k one two pi C R F Zeta Zeta K plus one D Zeta one two Pi C R M R K plus one D Zeta equals M two Pi R K plus one C R D Zeta equals M two Pi R K plus one two Pi R equals M R K Display style a underscore K L E Q frac one two pi point underscore C underscore R frac F zeta zeta carrot K plus one D zeta L E Q frac one two pi point underscore C underscore R frac M R carrot K plus one D zeta equals frac M two pi R carrot K plus one point underscore C underscore R D zeta equals frac M two pi R carrot K plus one two pi R equals frac M R carrot K where in the second inequality we have used the fact that z equals r on the circle CR. But the choice of r in the above is an arbitrary positive number. Therefore, letting r tend to infinity we let r tend to infinity since f is analytic on the entire plane gives ac. Topic. Zero for all k1. Thus f z a0 and this proves the theorem. Topic Corollaries Topic Fundamental Theorem of Algebra There is a short proof of the fundamental theorem of algebra based upon Liouville's theorem. 
Topic: No entire function dominates another entire function. A consequence of the theorem is that genuinely different entire functions cannot dominate each other, i.e., if f and g are entire and f g everywhere, then f equals alpha g for some complex number alpha. Consider that for g equals zero, the theorem is trivial, so we assume g does not equal display style neq zero. Consider the function h equals f per gram. It is enough to prove that h can be extended to an entire function, in which case the result follows by Liouville's theorem. The holomorphy of h is clear except at points in g minus one zero. But since h is bounded and all the zeros of g are isolated, any singularities must be removable. Thus h can be extended to an entire bounded function which by Liouville's theorem implies it is constant. If f is less than or equal to a scalar times its input, then it is linear. Suppose that f is entire and f z is less than or equal to m z for m a positive real number. We can apply Cauchy's integral formula. We have that f z equals one two pi c r f zeta zeta minus z two t zeta one two pi c r f zeta zeta minus z two d zeta one two pi c r m zeta zeta minus z two d zeta equals m i two pi Display style f z equals frac one two pi left point underscore c underscore r frac f zeta zeta z carrot two d zeta right leq frac one two pi point underscore c underscore r frac left f zeta right left zeta z carrot two right left d zeta right leq frac one two pi point underscore c underscore r frac m left zeta right left zeta z carrot two right left d zeta right equals frac me two pi where i is the value of the remaining integral. This shows that f is bounded and entire, so it must be constant, by Liouville's theorem. Integrating then shows that f is affine and then, by referring back to the original inequality, we have that the constant term is zero. <laughs> Non-constant elliptic functions cannot be defined on c. The theorem can also be used to deduce that the domain of a non-constant elliptic function f cannot be c suppose it was. Then, if a and b are two periods of f such that a, b is not real, consider the parallelogram p whose vertices are zero, a, b and a plus b. Then the image of f is equal to f p. Since f is continuous and p is compact, f p is also compact and, therefore, it is bounded. So, f is constant. The fact that the domain of a non-constant elliptic function f can not be c is what Liouville actually proved, in 1847, using the theory of elliptic functions. In fact, it was Cauchy who proved Liouville's theorem. Topic entire functions have dense images If f is a non-constant entire function, then its image is dense in c This might seem to be a much stronger result than Liouville's theorem, but it is actually an easy corollary. If the image of f is not dense, then there is a complex number w and a real number r greater than zero such that the open disk centered at w with radius r has no element of the image of f. Define g z equals 1, f z minus w. Then g is a bounded entire function, since z element of c, g z equals 1, f z minus w, 1 r display style for all z in math bound c, g z equals frac 1, f z w, so, g is constant, and therefore f is constant. Topic. On compact Riemann surfaces Any holomorphic function on a compact Riemann surface is necessarily constant. Let f z be holomorphic on a compact Riemann surface 
m display style m by compactness there is a point p 0 element of m display style p underscore 0 in m where f p display style f p attains its maximum then we can find a chart from a neighborhood of p 0 display style p underscore 0 to the unit disk d display style mathbound d such that f phi minus 1 z display style f phi caret minus 1 z is holomorphic on the unit disk and has a maximum at phi p 0 element of d display style phi p underscore 0 in math bound d so it is constant by the maximum modulus principle topic remarks let c infinity be the one point compactification of the complex plane c in place of holomorphic functions defined on regions in c one can consider regions in c infinity Viewed this way, the only possible singularity for entire functions, defined on CC infinity, is the point infinity. If an entire function f is bounded in a neighborhood of infinity, then infinity is a removable singularity of f, i.e. f cannot blow up or behave erratically at infinity. In light of the power series expansion, it is not surprising that Liouville's theorem holds. Similarly, if an entire function has a pole at infinity, i.e. blows up like zinc in some neighborhood of infinity, then f is a polynomial. This extended version of Liouville's theorem can be more precisely stated, if, f, z, m, zinc, for, z, sufficiently large, then f is a polynomial of degree at most n. This can be proved as follows. Again take the Taylor series representation of f f z equals k equals 0 infinity a k z k Display style f z equals sum underscore k equals zero caret inf t underscore k z caret k. The argument used during the proof using Cauchy estimates shows that k element of n a k m r n minus k. Display style for all k in math bound n a underscore k lexlant Mr. Caret n k. So, if k greater than n a k lim r plus infinity m r n minus k equals zero. Display style a underscore k lexlant lim underscore r right arrow plus inf t mr caret n k equals zero. Therefore, a k equals zero. Liouville's theorem does not extend to the generalizations of complex numbers known as double numbers and dual numbers. Topic. See also. Mittig-Leffler's theorem.